Hey everybody and welcome to this week's Judge Dredd painting video and we are sticking with the 1980s Citadel miniature line. This model was picked by my wonderful followers over there in the community tab and they chose Mad Ma Maffy. I think that's how you pronounce it. She was a character from the early days of Judge Dredd and appeared in Prog 18. 18? We are talking early 80s here. The head under her arm, which you'll hopefully see throughout this video, it's called a brain bloom. We're not going to go too far into that because uh, if you've not read that story, go treat yourself to complete Case Files 1 and learn about it. It is very worthwhile reading the story and getting to know it. So as you probably saw, I grabbed the Citadel paint. Um, oh my god, my brain just blanked on me there. Pallid Witch Flesh. And I'm going to go around the model picking out her apron the brain bloom and her hands and face. These are areas that I want to be bright. They're going to look bright. They're going to have fleshy tones or they're going to be pretty much white. So I want to have a nice solid base coat. I am going to take my time. It's still pretty warm here in Ottawa, so I'm really having to thin down my paint, but it seems to be working all right. I'm guessing I don't thin my paints enough as this is working really well. And I've added more water than I normally would. But yeah, just going to work my way around. Take my time. Get everything done nice and well. Nice and well. That's great English. Welcome to the channel, everyone. You can listen to me talk very badly. Uh, anyway, <laughs> it's been a long week, guys. It's been a long week. If you want to take part in the next vote, it's going to happen on Sunday. I'm picking out a few models that I feel like painting. I'm going to post them there. You guys then have a few days to vote and I'll try and paint it in time for a video for that week. It's going to be a nice mix this week. I've got a few old Judge Dread models like this one that I want to paint up. Plus I've got some newer sculpts that I'm going to throw into the mix. And obviously the best way for you to stay up to date with all my stuff is to like, comment, subscribe and uh, share this on social media. I am trying to find as many Judge Dread players as I can. And we're slowly building a cool little community. And if you want to be a part of it, make sure you are hitting all those buttons. Right, enough of me yapping on. Let's skip forward. Right, through the power of editing, we are now done with this base coating. Just going to pick out the rope that's on this weird little garden fork that she's got. She's a gardener. That's a little hint to what a brain bloom might be. Such a weird story. Such a weird story. You've got to find it. Like, honestly, guys, just go find the story and read it. It's a one-shot story. It's so fun. Right, okay, time to get some colour down. We're going to start with Luxion Purple. Now, every picture of this model I've found, they've had her in very dull, drab, grey, green colours. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I'm not sure if that's the official colour paint guide that they had when it came out. But I don't know. It's the city of the future. It should be bright. It should be colourful. So we're going to go with a nice bold purple on this granny's dress. So I'm just going to carefully work my way around this brain bloom. I don't want to get paint onto that nicely painted white or off-white that we now have on it. So I'm just going to take my time. I'm going to work my way around the entire dress and we'll have it all done. Look at that. Look at that. It already looks great. Just the uh, the fleshy tone that I've got on the white areas and this purple. It just pops. wasn't sure what colour I was going to do. The apron still at this stage. I just knew I wanted it to look brighter. I think I'm just going to hit that with grey. Like a grey wash. So it looks a bit dirty, a bit used. Look at her. She's looking great already. I'm really happy. I'm glad you guys picked this as the first model. It's a great choice. It was a real great choice. Then pick up the Maligant Green from the Army Painter. We're going to use this on the Brain Bloom. It is a weird vegetable plant. So I want it to look green. I also want it to look like, I don't know, a zombie head or whatever. So I needed this kind of rotten green colour to make that work. 
It's a very nice easy step. Now because I am using the Army Painter and Contrast Paints, you want to make sure they're all dry before you paint next to them, otherwise they are going to bleed into each other. I only have the first generation of Army Painters. I'm not buying the second gen yet until these have run out. So i got to make sure they are fully dried. Luckily in Ottawa it is bloody hot, so it's drying within minutes, especially with these studio lamps going. I then move on to snake bite leather. It's not much that I'm going to be using this on. I'm going to hit up her hair piece on the back. The, uh, the strap on the medallion that's around her neck. And then the string that is on her little gardening fork. So three little areas. Just going to give them a quick hit of this. And we can move on to the next step. And that next step is going to be Nasdrag Yellow. There's one point on this model that I'm going to use this yellow on. And that is her medallion. It's actually going to take me longer to get the paint onto the brush than it does to actually put it onto the model. And in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, we are done. That was such an easy step, everyone. Look at it. Done. Simple. Now, for me, GW still make one of the best flesh tones that I've used. And that is the Reichland Flesh Shade. And that is what you can see me putting on her face right now. Going to hit her face and hands. This producer is, produces a paler uh, skin tone, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. As opposed to the Crusader skin, which the Army Painter does, which I feel is more tanned. Similar to, uh, is it Gulliman's flesh tone? Which I've got sat on the shelves. They're both slightly darker tanned versions of this skin tone. I really like this one. I think for uh, civilians, it definitely makes sense to use this. I'm, I'm leaving Crusader skin for cursed earth creatures. People or people that have been out in the sun a lot more. People that need that darker, ruddied, I've been outside look. Now we're closing in to the final step. So I grabbed Magic Blue. And I'm going to use that on the eye lenses. Just to really add a pop of colour to the face. That blue just really pops. It's such a great colour. I love it. And I think on her eye lenses, it just, it makes sense. It looks good and it makes sense. And that leaves us with just the apothecary white to go. We're going to absolutely cover the apron with this. Make sure it really picks up and goes into the recesses. And then once I've done that, I'll do a quick job on the base to line it up make it look greyish and we can get some glamour shots in and call it a day as always i do truly appreciate you hanging out with me and watching this make sure to hop into the community feed on sunday and vote for the next model i should paint and until then cheers for watching Bye bye